the 3M Clean Trace Luminometer LX25 is a key component of the 3M Clean Trace ATP monitoring system, reading your samples and providing a rapid pass fail result and a quantitative measure of cleanliness. It has an ergonomic design that fits comfortably in your hand, along with the color touchscreen and on screen prompts. It also offers an easy to open test chamber for easy test insertion. Today we'll cover three key topics, performing a quick test, performing a detailed audit, and retesting a failed audit. First, we need to make sure the luminometer is powered on. Press the up button on the luminometer to wake it up if it has gone into sleep mode. If it doesn't wake up, the device has likely powered off. Press and hold the power button for three seconds to power on. As it powers up, the luminometer loads by running a device diagnostic. When the diagnostic is complete, tap Return. We'll start with a quick test, which gives you immediate results. To start the test, you'll see a screen with options for Login or Quick Test. Tap the Quick Test button. Place your ATP test into the sample chamber, close the chamber lid, and press the Start button. In 10 seconds or less, you'll see the result, a quantitative RLU value. Results from a quick test will not be uploaded to the 3M Quality Control Data Manager, but it is a good option for a quick reading. Next, we'll cover logging in and performing an audit. This allows you to track the details of your sample and upload the data to the Quality Control Data Manager. To start the audit, you'll see a screen with options for Login or Quick Test. Tap the Login button. If your organization is part of a multi-hospital setup and your device is connected to Wi-Fi, select your organization from the drop-down menu, then select the user. If your device is not connected to Wi-Fi, Change the desired organization by connecting the luminometer to a workstation that has the Synchronization Manager software installed. To complete the login process, enter your PIN. A username and PIN is established for each operator of the luminometer by the 3M Quality Control Data Manager or the QCDM Super Admin for your facility. Once you have logged in, select Start to begin a new test or select a recent failed audit to retest. Depending on if you are using the clean tray system to monitor surfaces, endoscopes, or surgical instruments, your selections will look a little different. For each screen, select the identifiers for your sample. For instance, with an endoscope, you will select the device type, the device, typically a serial number or other unique identifier, and then the reprocessing step. From the Review Selection screen, you can change the device, reprocessing step, test plan, or technician, or select the value for any user-defined fields that have been set up. When you are satisfied with your selections, tap Perform Audit. Select a test point. For this example, we will select the outer distal end. Place your ATP test into the test chamber, close the chamber lid, and tap Begin Measurement. In 10 seconds or less, you'll see the result, a quantitative RLU value and a pass-fail response for the test point you were testing. A failing response indicates that the test point should be recleaned and retested according to your facility's policies and procedures. After your result is displayed, tap Return. Repeat this process until all test points have been tested. Tap Done when complete. Your options will be different if you are using the Clean Tray system to monitor environmental surfaces. You'll tap Start, then select an area. Next, select the room. On the Review Selection screen, you can change the room, flag contact precaution, change the test plan, select the housekeeper, or select the value for any user-defined fields that have been set up. When you are satisfied with your selections, tap Perform Audit. Select a test point. Then insert the ATP test into the test chamber and tap Begin Measurement. In 10 seconds or less, you'll see the result, a quantitative RLU value and a pass-fail response for the test point you were testing. After your result is displayed, tap Return. 
Repeat this process until all test points have been tested. Tap Done when complete. If you are using the Clean Tray system to monitor surgical instruments, you will tap Start, then select the test plan. From the Review Selection screen, you can change the test plan, select the technician, or select the value for any user defined fields that have been set up. When you are satisfied with your selections, tap Perform Audit. Select your instrument. Then insert the ATP test into the test chamber and tap Begin Measurement. In 10 seconds or less, you'll see the result a quantitative RLU value and a pass fail response for the instrument you were testing. After your result is displayed, tap Return. Repeat this process until all instruments have been tested. Tap Done when complete. Your results can be uploaded from the luminometer to the 3M Quality Control Data Manager, or QCDM. To verify that your data uploaded to QCDM, look at the recent audits listed on your luminometer. A link icon will appear after a successful upload. An unsuccessful upload will result in a triangle with an exclamation point. Finally, we'll cover how to retest a failed test point. From the Start screen, select the recent audit that requires retesting. This is denoted with a white X and a red circle. Then, select the test point that requires retesting, also denoted by the same white X in a red circle. Follow the prompts to complete the retest. Select any additional failed test points for retesting if required. When you have finished the retesting process, select Done. All retest data is recorded on the luminometer. In addition, results can be uploaded from the luminometer to the 3M Quality Control Data Manager, so you can collect, review, and manage your cleaning monitoring test data. Remember, always refer to the user manual of the Clean Trace Luminometer LX25 for proper use. For detailed walkthroughs of the sample collection procedures for your specific application, visit 3M.com cleantrace.